All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So while we patiently wait for part two of the 350 million download celebration, which should be starting in, I want to say like three or four days from now, we just got some previews in the in-game news that I wanted to quickly go over with you guys today. So uh, without further ado, let's pop into the news here and take a quick look. So the first thing is the announcement of new stages of the Extreme Z Area event for the Free to Play Ginyu Force. And as you can see, it says we're going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for the AGL Birder as well as the STR Jace. Now, the interesting thing that is missing from this notice is that uh, they don't talk about Ginyu. Now, obviously, he is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening and he's on the image, so we know that there's going to be an Extreme Z Awakening for him. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not really sure why they didn't talk about him here. Maybe... Is it possible that there's going to be a third part to the celebration where we get the stage for Ginyu? So right now, you know, we have the Raccoon and uh, Goldo, right? So maybe part two, it's Birder and Jace. And then for part three, we get Ginyu. Um, I don't think it's going to be a three-part celebration, but I guess it is possible. So we'll have to see, or maybe it's like a secret stage that you only unlock after you fully extremes the awaken the other four members. I'm not sure, guys, but the point is, uh, the remaining Ginyu Force members are getting extremes the awakenings, Birder and Jace for sure, in the upcoming part two, and then we'll see what happens with Ginyu after that. Okay, and then from there we have a new story event announcement. This one's called. Uh, Faded History, the Saiyan in Rebellion, and there's going to be a new free-to-play Krillin. It says here, recruit Krillin to your team, and Dokkan awaken him to, to transcend the UR limit. So story, after the grueling battle with Frieza, Vegeta had lost his life. As his consciousness drifted to the entrance of the other world, uh, the prince could recall the violent massacre-ridden moments that composed his past life. So we have this in Krillin. Budokan awakens into a Vegeta and Krillin, which is kind of interesting. And while we don't know what the uh, Vegeta and Krillin will do after they Dokkan awaken, we do have a preview of the SSR Krillin. So his passive is going to be attack and defense plus 40% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when performing a super attack, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional defense plus 20% up to 40% with each attack evaded, including super attacks. So I'm assuming that once you Dokkan Awaken uh, the Krillin into uh, Vegeta and Krillin, then it's going to be a similar passive, just better, right? So maybe uh, attack and defense plus 60% plus an additional, you know, 40% when performing a super attack and then medium chance or maybe high chance. There may be high chance of evading attacks, including super attacks, and then additional defense plus 30% up to 90% or something like that. I don't really know, obviously, but it's going to be something like that, I'm sure, for the Vegeta and Krillin. So that's going to be a new free-to-play unit. Um, I feel like he's probably going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening immediately, too. So whatever I said, increase those numbers by a bit more as well, and uh, should be a pretty good unit. Now, their links are most likely going to be a little bit wonky just because it's, you know, Krillin and Vegeta, right? So whenever you get like characters that are not uh, super related, right? You got like Krillin the human and they got the Saiyan and Vegeta, the links always end up being kind of weird. So we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, um, pretty cool for you to play unit right there for the new story event. And then we also have a new stage for the new challenge event collection of epic battles, which we kind of knew about, and this one's just going to be um, essentially, you know, Namek Saga, except from the perspective of the bad guys, I guess. Wait, no, hold on. Um, yeah, from the perspective of the good guys, because it's supposed to be like two different perspectives from uh, like historical moments in the in the franchise, right? So, in the first stage, we were, we were fighting the good guys. So in the second stage should be fighting the bad guys, like Frieza, Dodoria, uh, Ginyu, and so on and so forth. So, 
There's also going to be a new support memory announced here. Actually, was this a thing already? I don't think so. So a new Super Saiyan Goku support memory. And let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. Uh, nope, just new stage announced. All right, so that's happening. And then we also have a new or multiple new stages for this story event right here where we can Doken Awaken the Dodoria, or sorry, the Zarbon into Zarbon and Dodoria. No details about what they are going to do, unfortunately, but um, I don't think anybody's really surprised by this. And this unit should also be getting an Extreme Z Awakening as well. And we also have new stages for the other story event here with a new support memory announced called Gohan's Tears. And uh, the Awakening for this Goku already existed in the game, but only, um, I guess only people who were like around for a third anniversary could Doken Awaken him before, right? So now, with the new stages, he gets the Doken, oh, Doken Awakening medals and also, most likely, an Extreme Z Awakening too. So I think this guy, plus the new Vegeta and Krillin, as, as well as of course the, the Doria and Zarbon, and also the Game Force members, are all getting Extreme Z Awakenings. So tons of free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings in Part 2, in addition to uh, probably a summonable. Well, we know the AGL transforming Goku is definitely getting a Shreemzy Awakening. That was announced. But on top of that, I feel like we're going to get another surprise one, like an LR maybe. Uh, full Power Frieza, Fizz Bardock, something like that. We'll see. That's just speculation, so I can't say for sure. But I just got a feeling, man, one of those guys will also be getting that EZA treatment. And uh, that is essentially everything that was announced in the game. Now, some other things that we know about, of course, are like that Bulma house sitting event that gives us like 10 stones per clear for X number of days. I'm not really sure what that's going to be, but probably like 70 to 100 free, free stones right there for that event. And then we also have, of course, a part 2 LR, which is coming. And nobody knows what that's going to be, but I'm thinking it's either going to be like a Ginyu Force, or a Vegeta, like a standalone Namek Vegeta, or, I mean, I guess Krillin and Gohan was kind of a popular choice, but it's not as likely anymore just because we have that free-to-play Krillin, but we'll see. And uh, some other options out there, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Some people think it might be a Final Form Frieza. I don't feel like they're going to do back-to-back -back Friezas, but it is possible, so... Um, time will tell, I guess. And uh, some other things. Now, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what's coming because uh, my mind's like not completely here. It's very late and I'm really tired. So uh, go check out that video I made a few days ago, the part two preview. I talked about a lot of things that we already knew were coming. And uh, there's like that growth event, the go uh, global versus JP event with the free to play Bardock and the free to play Frieza. So, a bunch of stuff coming for part two, maybe a part three, who knows, who knows, it'd be interesting. But for now, that's everything we know guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys are excited for part two to start, like I said, in like three or four days, and uh, that's going to be the video man. Um, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely, uh, then definitely, I'm telling you, man, it's so late. My brain is fried. Uh, oh, smash that subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.